Once upon a time, there were two scoops of ice cream at the top of a hill. One scoop, which was a chocolate, said to the other, "Hey, vanilla, want a race?" Race? What's that? It's where we each go as fast as we can and see who can get to the bottom of the hill first. Ooh, that sounds exciting! How do we do that? It's pretty hot out here, so I figure we can melt and slide our way down. Now, to ice cream hot means anything that is not freezing cold. But it was rather warm that day. The two ice cream scoops started their race. They glistened in the sunlight as their outer layers started to melt. And if they had been on someone's cones, their parents would have said, "Be sure to lick that before it drips." Oh my specs! I've never moved this fast. Woo! Chocolate slid past Vanilla at the speed of a very fast snail. Wow! How do you do that? It's a trick I just figured out. Face one side toward the sun until it's good and melted, and then roll down on top of it to get a really good slide. Ooh, ooh! I'm not really heating up as fast. I'm gonna roll down instead. Watch out! I'm gonna catch up. Oh no! I've slid into the shade. Ha ha! I'll catch you now. Whoa! Was this a crack? I'm going sideways. Behind them, two strips of melted ice cream stretched up the hill, one white and one brown. Just then, out from behind a building at the top of the hill, a dog and a cat walked onto the street. The dog sniffed the air, and the cat jumped onto a bench to look around. The cat saw the chocolate stripe, jumped down. And ran over to it, while the dog found the vanilla one, and they both started licking. The chocolate scoop was back in the sunlight again, and making good time on the hot pavement. Look at me! I'm half melted. You won't catch me. Wait, what's that? What? What is it? Some kind of animal is chasing us. Chocolate struggled to turn around, but was sliding headlong down the street. Now mostly liquid. The dog and cat were having a race of their own, of sorts. The dog slobbered its way down the hill, going back and forth across the vanilla trail, while the cat looked straight down the middle of the chocolate, getting the thickest part. Of the melted ice cream and ignoring the edges, chocolate ran out into a final syrupy dollop that spread across the pavement. The cat was not far behind. It licked its way right to the middle and lapped up a little circle through the thickest part. The dog closed in on the. Lopsided lump of vanilla. Yar, get stand. But as the dog's tongue scooped, blew vanilla up. Vanilla's last thoughts were suddenly calm and clear. Wait, this isn't so bad. I'm ice cream. I always wanted to be eaten outdoors on a hot day.